At the moment, I don't really have to get up in the morning, and that's great because I'm not much of a morning person. Yesterday, I uh, got up at 10 to 12, so there were 10 minutes of morning time. I struggled through it, but the rest of the day was glorious, not morningness. It was quite good. Today, well, I tried to do the same, but I was woken up by my phone ringing, and it was this guy who wanted to come round and deliver a, a, um, a dresser that I bought off him on the side of the road. Because it's Montreal, you can buy anything on the side of the road. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah, sure. Um, oh, wait, I'm not at my house. Oh, I'll, I'll be there in half an hour. And um, so I had a hurried, rushed morning. Slightly unpleasant, but oh well. It was uh, worthwhile, got stuff done at least. Yeah, so I'm staying at a different house at the moment. And I'm staying in this king-sized bed. It's huge huge. The first night I stayed here I woke up the next day and I was just like I don't know where I am. Like I actually had no idea when I first awoke where I was. I was like this isn't my house and it's not my old house either and it ah, and the room didn't look familiar because <laughs> the thing about king size beds is <laughs> wow you, you just you don't have any uh, bearings, like you can't feel the edges, so you don't really know what angle you're on. And I woke up at a 90 degree angle to the one that I'd been on when I fell asleep, and so nothing looked familiar. And um, yeah, it was a strange few minutes, but I eventually figured out that I hadn't been, you know, drugged and whisked off to a foreign country in my sleep. I was, I was in the same place I had been the night before.